China has announced it will ramp up its defence spending by 7%, taking it to $330 billion, citing, quote, complex security challenges. At the annual National People's Congress, its most important political meeting of the year, China unveiled its post-pandemic growth plans after three strict years of zero COVID. In one of China's grandest locations, it staged one of its grandest shows. Nearly 3,000 delegates from across the country gathered here for China's version of the opening of parliament. Access in here is rare, controlled as it is closely guarded. In perfect unison, they welcomed their leader. Xi Jinping didn't take the lectern himself, but in a way, this weekend was all about him. His cabinet of allies confirmed, his third term as president ratified. But listen closely to his outgoing second in command, just a hint that it's not all been plain sailing. The economy maintained stability in overcoming difficulties and the main development tasks of the year were basically completed in a complex environment with many changes. The Chinese economy has shown strong resilience. In theory, they vote on legislation here, a small increase in the defence budget this time. But in practice, it's all pre-decided, planned and performed to perfection. This place is the focal point of political power in China. And although what's happening here this weekend will be largely ceremonial, it is hugely significant and the reverberations will be felt around the world. But this government does face questions, not least how to rebuild an economy battered by zero COVID excesses. But there weren't many answers here. Friendly questions, it seemed, pre-selected. But experts say public trust is damaged and does matter. An unelected government that relies on performance legitimacy. I think it's an economic issue. Uh, although in the party congress um, in last year, later last year, they emphasized a lot about security. But the, the biggest challenge will be uh, economic uh, development in China. Uh, because of uh, Communist Party used to rely a lot on economic growth to boost its uh, legitimacy. But uh, now the problem is uh, e economy is not good. There is a sense this is the start of a new chapter of sorts for China, a post-COVID era under a man who could now be leader for life, a place with complicated questions beneath a carefully controlled aesthetic.